Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly uncover all of your low-hanging fruit featured snippet opportunities for your existing content. And we'll start things off by going through the different featured snippet types. And then we're gonna go through a series of working examples to see how you can not only find the opportunities, but go about optimizing your content to steal the snippets away from your competitors. And I'll also show you a handy little template I've put together so you can track all of your work. And then we'll look at how you can monitor performance over time. So let's jump in. Okay, so real quickly before we jump into the working examples, let's talk about what a featured snippet is and look at the most common featured snippet types. In its most basic format, a featured snippet is really just a piece of information that'll sit at the top of Google search results and it'll answer a query and that answer is pulled from relevant content ranking in the top search results. And if we look here at some of the most common featured snippet types that you'll be having to optimize your content for, we can see for the term sales strategy, this is an example of a paragraph snippet where it's simply defining what a sales strategy is. Next, we can see for the term best sales tool for Neil Patel's article, it's just pulling out the list of tools into a bulleted featured snippet format. Featured snippets also come in the form of video snippets. So for a term like how to wash your dog, Google thinks that showing this type of snippet will help answer that question directly in the search results. If we look at some, a query like how to change your tire, Google is showing a numbered list featured snippet format that they think better directly answers that query in the search results. And then finally, if we look at the term US mortgage rates, this is a table featured snippet format since it makes it easy for users to compare the different mortgage rates and APR rates across different fixed year terms. And each of these different featured snippet types is going to require you to optimize your content differently in order to have a chance of ranking for it. And the reason why featured snippets are becoming so much more important now is because as you'll see here with this SEMrush study that analyzed over 80 million keywords, it found that a much larger percentage of queries are now triggering different snippet types. So you can see here for questions, 41% of questions are now triggering snippets. Prepositions and comparison related searches are also returning a lot more snippets as well. In addition to that, featured snippets are also taking up a lot more valuable real estate at the top of the search results page and they get a lot more impressions and clicks. And you can see here from this study that Ahrefs did where they analyzed 2 million featured snippets, they found that for SERPs with featured snippets, 8% of all the clicks were going to the featured snippet. And finally here in this chart, you can see that 99% of featured snippets are pulled from the top 10 results. And you can also see here that just under a third of the snippets come from the number one spot, and most of them actually come from the top five ranking positions. And SEMrush is a tool that makes it incredibly easy to find all of your existing featured snippet opportunities. If you don't already have an account, you can grab a 30 day free trial over here in the featured snippet template link below the video and just come into the instructions tab and click the link. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come over to the SEMrush, click the SEO toolkit, enter your domain, come down to the organic research report, and then you're gonna to wanna to click on the positions tab. And this is gonna return a list of all the keywords that your site currently has ranking in the top 100 search results. Next, you wanna come over and click this drop down, and now you can select where your domain doesn't rank in the different snippet types. For, for this case, we wanna click where our domain is not ranking in the featured snippets. And now you're gonna see a list of all the keywords your site's ranking for in the top 100 positions, but doesn't have the featured snippet. But since we know that about 30% of the snippets come from the number one ranking article and about two thirds come from the top three ranking positions, I recommend adding another filter to only show keywords where your site is ranking in the top three positions as these are gonna be your lowest hanging fruit featured snippet opportunities. SEMrush makes this super simple. All you do is click the positions filter here. There's a bunch of different options, but for this, we'll just click top three. And then you're gonna see a list of all the keywords now that your site's ranking in the top three positions for that you don't currently have a featured snippet. And similar to what we did earlier in this module where we prioritize the existing keywords based on intent and your site monetization model, you can add additional URL filters to surface the most valuable featured snippet opportunities for keyword sets of any size. So for example, my site monetizes through affiliate revenue. So I wanna prioritize review posts and any best tool lists. So as a result, I might add a filter here to only show the keywords containing modifiers like best. So for example, this would surface my best tool lists. So once I add that filter, now I see a list of 25 keywords I'm ranking in the top three positions for that have that best modifier that I don't currently rank in the featured snippet. And if I scan down the list here, I see that a lot of them are actually for my article on best rank trackers, which I have a couple different affiliate products that I monetize in that article. So now let's just look at the term best rank tracker here. If I come over and click the SERP overview link, it's gonna bring me to this report where I'm gonna see which sites are ranking in the featured snippet for that term. And I can see that we've got website tool tester, 
and we've got Shane Barker and they're both triggering the bulleted list featured snippet format. Now, if I take a closer look, I wanna see how Shane Barker is landing in the featured snippet for this term. So what I do is I open up the URL and I scroll down and if I click back and look at the SERP result. I can see that it's pulling in where it's saying rank tracker tool numbers. Now I can see they've got it here in a table of contents where each of these is an anchor link that jumps to the respective tool. If I check out the actual text here, I wanna know it, what kind of heading tags are they using to house this in. So I can see that Shane Barker is mentioning this in H3 tags. So if I jump back over into the search results again, I can see here I am in the number one organic position. If I open up my article, I wanna quickly see where I'm falling short of the articles in the featured snippet. And immediately you can see I've got this relatively long introduction, and then I've got some jump links to just different key sections in the article, not necessarily to the tools themselves. I've got a leaderboard, but again, these aren't anchor links. These are just some affiliate links and links to products that were voted in the article. I have three different tools listed in here, but then I jump straight into a list of features. So if I wanted to steal this snippet away from Shane Barker, a website tool tester, I would need to rework my article to include more tools, probably a top 10 tools list that above the features and then make sure those were wrapped in something like an H3 tag. And once you've identified the test or changes that you can make to your article to try and steal the snippet, you wanna use the featured snippet template link below this video, come over and then just drop in your keyword, the position volume and the URL, flag what type of snippet it is and then your strategy or the actions you're gonna to take to try and steal it. So you can see I've got expand to include the top 10 tools in H3 tags and then also maybe reposition or create a new table of contents where each tool is is an anchor and then you assign an owner and then the status of that. Okay, let's take a look at another example for the e-commerce store beard brand. Now these guys were the working example from the keyword research playbook. If I filter their keyword set to only show keywords ranking in the top three positions that have snippets that they don't yet own, I can see roughly 1500 different keywords. Now, since we know though that Beard Brand is an e-commerce store that will first wanna focus on the commercial intent terms that they can monetize the quickest, they'll wanna surface all the product or category page opportunities first. If I jump back over to their site, I can see that they do house all of their products and categories under this product subfolder. So in order to drill into those, I would just come back over into SEMrush here, come to the advanced filter, and then I'd go include, URL, and then containing, and then I would put forward slash products in there and apply the filter. And now we've trimmed down the list to six highly valuable featured snippet opportunities to focus on. Now check out the first one here. We've got Beard Wash with 4,400 monthly searches. Getting the snippet for this term would be extremely valuable for the company. So next we'll click SERP overview report button here to see what type of snippet is showing, how their competition is winning the snippet and what Beard Brand could do to potentially steal it from them. But once we jump over, we can actually see here that it is more of the best of list type blog posts that are generating the snippets. And since Beard Brand has a product page, there is really a misalignment in the content type that they're using to potentially steal the snippet for that term. So it's probably not going to be a good one to go after at the moment with that type of content. Instead, they would probably need to create their own best beard wash type listicle piece of content in order to more aggressively go after that snippet. And it's important to note here that as you dive deeper and look at how different websites are winning the featured snippets, sometimes it might not be a good fit with the type of content you currently have ranking. But as we saw earlier, it's often the informational how-to or comparative queries that trigger the majority of the featured snippets. So maybe Beard Brand would shift its attention back to the blog subfolder on its article and look for more high volume opportunities that they could steal the snippet for and then use in-content CTAs and internal links to drive all that extra traffic back into their product and category pages. So in this case, all Beard Brand would need to do is come back over into SEMrush and next, all they would do is click the advanced filter and instead of including the URL containing products, they would instead put blogs since that's where they house all their blog content under. And you can see now with this, they've got about 1500 opportunities on their blog, but that's a lot of opportunities to analyze so this is where now you can start to layer on additional filters around volume and even narrow down the position targeting a little bit more to trim it to a more manageable set. So for example, I could say, okay, I'm only interested in looking at the opportunities that have a minimum search volume of 500 a month, which will leave me with about 71 opportunities. And if I wanted to trim this down even more, maybe I could change the position filter to only go positions one to two. But for now, I'll just leave it at 71. If I look here, I can see the topic neck beard, interesting ranking in the top three positions, 20 2,200 monthly searches. So if I click the SERP overview report link, 
And you can see there's a paragraph snippet type. If I open up the Wikipedia link, I can see that it's pulling in this snippet directly from the first sentence in this article. So if I jump over and take a look at Beard Brand's article, one thing that they could do is they could define what a neck beard is directly here in the first sentence of their article. So you can see down here, they've actually started to define it. But if they move that up into the first sentence, that's a really quick test they could do to see if they could steal that paragraph snippet in the search results. Another example here in the SaaS space is if we look at FreshBooks, which they're an invoice and accounting software, come down to the bottom, I know that they've got this huge library of invoicing templates, which drive a lot of leads. So getting more featured snippet placements for them would be valuable. So if I come over into SEMrush, organic research report, I filter out all the keywords they're ranking the top three for that they don't have a featured snippet. What I can then do, since I know that template is in the URL string for all of those different invoicing and accounting template pages. I just do an include URL containing template and now I'm left with 96 featured snippet opportunities that are all related to that invoicing template topic. So if I look at the first one here, landscaping invoice, it's got 720 searches a month. If I click on the SERP overview link and come in here, I can see that eForms actually has the snippet. It's a paragraph snippet format, but to take a closer look at that. I can see that it's pulling it from the what to include section, and it's got a bulleted list of the items that should be included. Now, if I come back over here and have a look at the page that FreshBooks is ranking in the number one organic position, one thing that I might add to this is a what to include section, and then have a brief bullet list of the items that should be included in this specific landscaping invoice template to have a better chance of maybe stealing that from eForms. Again, a relatively quick test that they could make. And for a term like that, if they're able to steal the snippet, it could drive a lot more eyeballs and potentially leads for the business. Okay, so that's just a few working examples. Feel free to use the featured snippet template that I've provided in the link below the video as you go through and analyze your opportunities. After comparing the current featured snippet to your article, if you think you can actually steal that away from them, identify the gaps here in the strategy column, pull out any quick action items that you can take, assign an owner, and then add them to your SEMrush rank report once the optimizations are complete. And another great feature of SEMrush is in the position tracking tool that they have. You can easily monitor the success of your featured snippets campaign. Just simply come over and click the featured snippets link. And then in here, you're going to see the number of snippets that you're already featured in, any opportunities that are out there. And you're going to see this nice little trend graph that'll show hopefully the green line going up over time as you start to steal more snippets from the competitors. But you can quickly toggle between the opportunities and the already featured, as well as see any new snippets that your domain started ranking in the featured snippets for recently. Okay, so just a real quick recap. Now, the first thing you wanna do is drop your domain into SEMrush and then filter your keyword set to only show the terms that you're ranking in the top three to five positions that you don't currently have ranking in a featured snippet. And you can also use the URL or keyword filter to drill into the keywords that are most valuable to your business. The next thing you wanna do is flag the snippet type. Then you wanna analyze the competing snippet and see if you can actually compete and steal that away. And a couple of things that will often cause you to disqualify a term is if you have the wrong content type or you're unable to make the necessary formatting changes. Finally, you wanna assign any action items and then track performance in the SEMrush tracking template.